This afternoon, we're taking an inside look at Tampa's most famous pirate ship. You know what I'm talking about. There are actually two crews that can be found on board. The Mystic crew and also the shipyard crew, making sure everything is sailing smoothly. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd climbed aboard. Well, before you can put on the pirate hat, you got to put on the hard hat as crews make last minute preparations aboard Tampa's most famous pirate ship. That's not buried treasure being loaded onto the Jose Gasparilla. It's lighting and sound equipment. Preparing the ship for invasion is about a three month process. So we've got uh, quite a big job in cleaning her up, getting her painted, stringing flags, lights, making sure all the conditions are good. Arthur Savage of the E-Mystic crew Gasparilla said maintenance and decorations are only half the battle. The pirates on board during the invasion also have to go through annual training. All the life safety things like, uh, you know, man overboard uh, rings, life jackets, fire extinguishers. Freddie Jenrette with Gulf Marine Repair has been captaining the ship preparations since 2003. He can tell you there are exactly 19 nets, 350 feet of lights, and about 300 flags. I've been logging each location. I made a map so I know where every flag go. I know where every sail go. I know where every light go. Is this the best job in the shipyard? Yeah, when it comes to doing a job, yeah, I'd rather do this than doing a lot of other stuff. Every year, you never know what new challenge may pop up with a 66-year-old vessel. But so far, they've always risen to the occasion to make sure it sets sail. This year was probably the quickest we ever did it with the time frame, but everything worked out perfectly, thank God. From the deck to the mast, Freddie said attention to detail is a must. He understands this is more than a ship, it's an experience. I like to see the looks on the people's face when I watch them look at the boat, and you should see them like big kids out here, man. Look at that boat. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.